My parents are immigrants from Nigeria. They moved to the United States in the 1980s. My dad is a doctor, so after medical school, he came to the United States to start practicing medicine. He originally started in New York City, which is where I was born. And after living in New York for the first few years of my life, I moved to Wisconsin and then landed in South Carolina after that. In high school, I went to a college fair at Coastal Carolina University, saw the, the table for College of Charleston, didn't really know too much about it, went to the table, got some information, and then my mom kept staying in my ear about, oh, College of Charleston, you should stay close to home, like we should go tour, and the rest was history. In my time at College of Charleston, I was one of the founding members of United African Students. Also, I was a member of SCAMP, the South Carolina Alliance for Minority Participation. Through SCAMP, an internship position with Dr. Ofunying opened up, and it was just an internship for a student to travel to the University of Pennsylvania and analyze some DNA of individuals living here in Charleston. Um, to compare to DNA that they found from remains at the Galliard Center. And then one thing led to another somehow. People from National Geographic found out about what was happening. And once they found out, they were all on board and they took the wheel and from there the rest was history. While I was a student at the college, I was privileged enough to have a job at the library. My boss was Sherry Gadsden. She was involved with setting up some of the opportunities that were going on here with the CLIPS and the NASA representatives. And she told them that, hey, I have two students or a couple students that are in the STEM fields, and it would be a great honor if they can get involved with you and do some, some work with the CLIPS. And luckily enough, they were all on board. I was just so privileged to be able to work with their scientists for the CLIPS, and it was just such an awesome experience for myself. Me and my family traveled to Nigeria often. The last time I was in Nigeria, that was the last time I was really like aware enough to recognize how the socioeconomic status, how they affect the health of individuals. And out of that, I did more research on public health. I intertwined my background in biology with public health and I, I really looked into it and saw that this is something I wanna, I really wanna put my hands on and get involved with. I was able to get involved with organizations like Contra COVID, NYC, the New York City Department of Health, and just be able to help individuals across the city to get the resources they need in such a time.